Hey guys, what's up? I'm Seth. Megan's sleeping today, getting ready for work tonight. But we're gonna tell you all about how we film our travel videos with an iPhone. Now, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel and hitting that notification bell down below to be notified when new videos are posted. We have lots of new things coming up. We have a spa day, we have another spa day, we have a train ride, and then we have Utah. That's right, we are leaving Colorado and we are hitting up Utah. We are going to all the big places, Moab, Zion, Bryce, all sorts of cool things, and we wanna take you along for the ride. Now, as you know from the title and the thumbnail, the description if you've read it, and the beginning of the video, if you see anything in today's video that you like, there will be links down below where you can get those things. Some of them may have discount codes, some of them may not, but all of them are affiliate links. So you are helping us out and our channel out and the future of our channel at no additional cost to you. So if you want to buy something, please use our affiliate links. Okay, so the number one thing that you have to do when you're filming a travel vlog or cinematic travel videos or whatever it be is brainstorm. Megan and I do a lot of brainstorming. It's a lot of time spent on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube, reading blogs, everything that we can ingest about where we're gonna go and what we wanna do and when we wanna do it that's the most important part of all of this. Now, it really depends kind of where we start looking based on where Megan's next job is gonna be. Usually we don't know that about two weeks before we leave, which makes it a little difficult. So all of this brainstorming is crammed into a couple days. We get our inspiration from different channels. We love watching Kara and Nate. Um, right now they're traveling in a van around the country. Uh, we watch channels like The Other Side, uh, The Adventures of A Plus K. We love these channels because they're featured here in the United States. And it really helps us in getting ideas of what we want to do next. Now, after you've brainstormed, you have general ideas of what it is you want to do and where you're gonna go, now comes the planning stage. This is probably the most strenuous stage of making our travel videos. Because when we have these ideas, now it, it comes into really making a plan out of these ideas. What day are we gonna go? What does the traffic of people look like at that particular location at that particular time? These are all things that we have to figure out because we don't want a video where there's just a huge influx of people. Getting the locations that we go to and being able to get them without a lot of people takes a ton of planning and usually sheer luck because a lot of places we go are very popular places. That comes into shot planning a little bit later, but you know, really planning the location, the time of day, making sure if there's any reservations, um, if you need tickets to get to that certain location. If you don't know, Zion is incredibly hard to get shuttle tickets. We actually got some shuttle tickets, so we have all the luck in the world right now. But that's not the same for other locations. There's been plenty of places we've wanted to go but haven't been able to just because of the lottery of how tickets are sold and the time frame that you need to get those tickets because after three months, we don't know where we're gonna be for the next three. So planning that along with rules and regulations, where can you fly a drone? Where can you film? Where can't you film? You know, all of these things are plans that need to be made before you ever consider what exactly it is that you're gonna film at these locations. Now the last part of planning is planning what equipment you're gonna take with you. 
if you're doing a 20 mile hike or you're hiking a 14er, you're not gonna wanna take all of your gear with you because you don't wanna lug all of that stuff 20 miles or up a 14er or you know whatever it may be because it's gonna be too heavy and you wanna enjoy your time just as much as you enjoy what it is you're filming. So really planning, you know, getting to know the area, maybe checking out all trails, Google Maps, Apple Maps, whatever it may be, other YouTube videos, and figuring out, can I fly a drone? Okay, if I can't fly a drone, then there's no use to put that in my bag. Put it in your car, sure, because there may be areas you can, but you don't wanna carry extra stuff. Figure out what camera it is you're gonna film with. Figure out if you're gonna take just a tripod, or maybe you're gonna take your full gimbal setup. You know, all of this comes into what gear do you have? What gear do you feel most comfortable using? And then what gear is gonna bring you the best possible video footage? Um, if you know, we shoot everything on an iPhone 12 Pro Max, which we'll get into the details of that here in a few minutes. But this is super light, it's super minimal to take on these trails. Now the setup that we end up using is pretty heavy, it's big, there's a lot of stuff with it, but we really try to limit, you know, how much do we soak into gear money-wise, and then how much gear can we actually take with us. You can only use one or two things at a time. So really planning the gear is a huge part of making the trip and the filming super easy. Now, this starts to get into the shot planning of the video. What I like to do first is I like to go on to Epidemic Sound. On Epidemic Sound, it's all copyright-free music. They take care of any copyright claims that YouTube tries to throw at you, which really doesn't happen. I have had no issues with Epidemic Sound. Um, the sounds are great, the music is great, and I like to pick some sort of song, some sort of genre that is going to influence how I shoot the video. Because I like to try to pair the shots to the music rather than trying to get the shots and then go pair them to music. Because that's kind of hard if your shots are slow panning and the music that fits the scene is more fast paced. I mean, Epidemic Sound has tens of thousands of songs that you can choose from. Everything with no vocals to vocals, from dubstep to rap, to country, to whatever it is. And if you don't know this, almost all of my videos since we've come to Colorado have not had the original sound other than our voices. Almost every video we do I completely cut all of the sound out and I build the sound from the ground up. So if you watched our train video, none of that was really the train. All of that was sound effects that I got through Epidemic Sound. Dog sledding. Almost, almost the whole video is completely sound built through Epidemic. The dogs barking, the sled, the wind, the pouring of the food into the bowl. All of that is built through Epidemic Sound, and for just $15 a month, you get access to hundreds of thousands of songs and sound effects. It's one of the best investments that I've made because I don't have to worry about copyright claims, and I don't have to worry about paying a ton of money to download songs. It's all right there. So check the link in the description below if you want to get started with Epidemic Sound. Now, after you've brainstormed what it is you're going to do, you've planned the entire trip, you've chosen your music, now it comes time to film. For me, I film on an iPhone 12 Pro Max using Filmic Pro with the cinematography add-on package. And that looks a little bit like this. Now, using Filmic Pro, it allows you to take control of your phone, of your phone's camera. Using the native app on your, on your iPhone, 
and even Androids, you're very limited in what it is you can do. So with Filmic Pro, I can come here, I can choose my resolution, I can choose my frame rate. From there, I can choose between 8-bit or 10-bit, whatever it is I want to film, and they just released a Dolby Vision as well in Filmic Pro. Now, if I come over here, I can choose all sorts of different um, shots between natural, I can shoot in log, and all of my videos are shot using the log. And then Filmic actually has free downloads for their LUTs, which corrects all of that to a pretty amazing color correction. Now here, if I have some other things like additional lenses, maybe from Moment or Beast Grip or Sandmark, I can pick and choose these lenses here in this option. And then currently, Filmic only allows for adding on to these certain gimbals. Hopefully, here in the near future, after talking with DJI and talking to Filmic, hopefully we're gonna get some uh, released software for being able to pair to the DJI Ronin SC. Now, if you wanna use Filmic Pro, I don't have an affiliate link or a discount code for that, um, but Filmic Pro is a one-time payment of $14.99, and the cinematography kit is an additional $13.99. This just gets you, you know, tons of different options when it comes to shooting. And what I really like is I feel like I can get a lot of the same shots using Filmic that people can get on their cameras. And a lot of times it's not about the gear, it's about how you use the gear. Now, talking about gear, what do we use? Well, like I said, I film on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I don't film just holding that because it's not very steady. So I film using this rig. I upgraded from the DJI Osmo Mobile 3 just due to the fact that having a light, having lenses, having a mic really gets heavy and it burns up the motors and it's not as stable. So I have the DJI Ronin SC. I absolutely love this gimbal. If I take my beast grip off here, maybe, you can see that everything about this gimbal collapses in together. I can remove all of this and remove the tripod. So that way, everything packs nice and tight into my bag. I love this because whether we're using a mirrorless, uh, our phone, whatever, this fits an array of different cameras, weights, sizes. Also with lenses, it is a powerhouse of a gimbal and I absolutely love it. This is what I put my phone in. This is the Beast Grip Pro. You attach your phone in the back here. It's a little spring loaded, absolutely a very strong spring. Like I said, I put our loom cube here on top. And then we use a mic by Rode. Um, we use the video mic and that just attaches right here. Everything sets perfect. Now, this will run you 279 for this. But if you think about it, you're just increasing your stability, you're increasing the shots you can get. I love this thing. This is one of the best investments that I've made since we've started making videos. The Beast Grip will run you 165 and that is a package deal that they're running right now that comes with a wide angle lens as well as a micro or a macro lens, sorry. 
macro lens and all of that attaches together, one here, your phone goes right in the back, the lens goes up to this, and you get absolutely amazing shots. You can get both of these in the link below in the description. And um, again, they are affiliate links. So I would appreciate if you wanna buy either of these, please use our affiliate links. The other way I get my shots, which will be linked in the description below, is the DJI Mavic Air 2. I absolutely love this drone. I can get so many amazing shots with this drone. And it's, it's actually helped me land a couple jobs in an upcoming video that we're gonna be filming um, for the specific purpose of getting drone shots. This drone, um, I'm not sure what they're running for right now, now that the Mavic Air 2S has come out, um, but I will link this and the price will be right here in the description below. Amazing. If you don't have a drone and you're filming and you're filming travel videos, I highly recommend investing because the shots you can get with this little guy and the image quality out of this world. Plus a 34 minute flight time. That's crazy. Now the final piece is what we carry all of our gear in. Um, Megan actually got me this bag as a gift about two years ago, year and a half ago, and I love it. This is the Wonder Provoke series. Um, it's a camera bag, travel bag. It has absolutely everything that you could ever want in a bag. And all of this gear that we carry, my drone, All of this will break down, fit into here, all my cables, cords, AirPods, what have you in here. I edit on a 15.4 inch MacBook Pro, fully modded out, that will fit in here as well as my uh, portable fan will fit in the next pocket. Passport and wallet go in here. Everything's taken care of. I love this bag and the gear we use it really helps me get the shots that I need. All right guys, thanks for watching. If you liked today's video, make sure to subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all of the new videos we have coming up, both here in Colorado and in Utah. We don't know where we're gonna go after that, which is all part of the fun of this channel. It's always a surprise. Again, all of the links for anything you saw in today's video are gonna be in the description below. Leave a comment and let me know what gear you use or if you use your phone to film. I think it's absolutely amazing the things that people are creating with their phones. See you on the next one.